up high to the sky or it's going to go down to the ground. That's one or the other. Now, whenever a coin is released, one of two things can happen, okay? Only two things can happen. It can go make an impulse wave up because there's a bullish sentiment, okay? That is one thing that can happen. And then, of course, the second thing that can happen is it can make a correction instead. Obviously, it's not so bullish. This one here, what we try to look for is... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, guys. I'm just, uh, I'm a little bit silly today. I'm just waiting here, just waiting for Bitcoin. It's not that fun right now. I'm not scalping today because I want to make TA videos for you guys. These TA videos are going to be short. Have you guys noticed I'm getting it really short now? And another thing is, do you guys like it that I'm not trying to pinpoint prices if you've noticed, okay? I'm not even trying to guess most prices at the time. I'm more so doing play by play, which I think is a lot more helpful in the long run. I don't want to moon prices and be like, yeah, 9,000 return on like every coin, which I'm sure I could predict you know, if I wanted to do, but I'd rather be realistic and give people scenarios of things that can happen. So I hope that this way of helping people is okay. You know, if you guys have some um, suggestions, definitely throw it out there. I always listen to the community. That's what I'm here for, guys. I'm like altcoins to Bitcoin. I'm just everyone's biatch, okay, guys? I'm your biatch, your TA biatch. No, really, I'm not your TA biatch, but I can be, you guys, for the right price. <laughs> so, Whenever this happens here, we try to look for a three, five, three, three, five, or a five, three, five correction that goes like this, something like that. Okay, B can be in many shapes and forms. What I find B does a lot lately is it does like a sideways one like that, and it does like an A B C kind of in here like that, where it wedges into there, so it forms like five waves within the B for this wedge right here. Okay. And then after it wedges in, it just breaks downwards, right? Like maybe something like that. Could be symmetric, could be uh, descending. So now that fund was obviously just released to Bitfinex here, what we're seeing is a downtrend, right? So we try to count five waves first coming down. So yeah, it didn't go up, so it came down. So one, two, three. We're going to allow it to overlap because these are leverage markets and it is the beginning of the beginning of it here. I don't want to zoom in too close here, but um, what I see in here is some sort of A, B, C, D, E correction as well, right? Like, it's it's hard to see on this time frame, and I don't want to spend too much time, but I do see it, like, where it reaches a bottom here and a top, where it's kind of wedging into this shape. So for B, if we don't get, like, this this is B, okay? This This is B right here. A, B, and C. And this is B right there. What usually happens is we get we get a three five three. So, sorry, this one here is a three, right? Like this. One. Uh, this is a three wave ABC in here, a normal ABC. But look, and this one here, you would actually expect to count five waves up here. One, two, three, four, five, and this one as well. Five, two, three, four, and five. And this one in here, you would actually expect to count ABC, right? But this AB in here can do many things and how like how this b right there can also do many things as well like an a b c d e it doesn't always have to do a three uh, a one wave impulse up and then a one wave correction and then a one wave down right and then now after we've counted those waves down here what we see is just five waves as well one two three four five and this is making like an ending diagonal of some sort as well actually this one here might even be extended like you know, it might, it might even be something like this if I'm just counting it wrong, like in the wrong spot. Like, I don't know, just something like that maybe. Or this could be even the A, B, C. Or maybe, this this is likely as well, A, B, this whole area C, D, and E. That's actually very likely as well. Because when we count this one down, we count 1, 2, and then we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then another one. So this has got to be a double bottom, right? Five waves like that, and this one is three waves coming down. Two, three, four, and then five, like that. So now, what we get... So at the end of every... Um, more theory that needs to be introduced. At the end of every A, B, C, like this, coming down, which is what we've confirmed already just now, we get something called an attempt, attempted breakout, okay? An attempted breakout, which is usually formed by some resistances, like here, which we have broken out already, as we can see, just by taking some trend lines, right? We can take some trend lines and we can see that it's basically broken out already, right? So this here makes an attempted breakout.
by taking some relevant points up here, which acts as a strong resistance. So what people will do is they will draw these resistances like that, right? And the moment that it successfully closes and whatever rule that they're using for themselves, a lot of people use different rules, right? Um, you know, for example, myself, I need to close above a specific resistance point for me to not fall into a bull trap because we we weigh the consequences and the risk of falling into a bull trap if there's no successful close and then we weigh it against our emotions of what we would do. Are we disciplined enough to actually cut our losses? Are we skilled enough to acknowledge a bull trap and even see what that is, right? Are, are, we, are we familiar with level two action enough to see momentum changes in the order book? So we have to ask ourselves many questions if we go into a trade before an actual confirmation is, do we have the skills and the discipline enough to be able to tell if we are in a bull trap, right? So I wait for confirmation first to eliminate that risk, right? Oops, sorry, I just dropped my water bottle there. And um, yeah, so I would wait for a confirmation if it breaks over here. I don't know why I can't go there anymore. Yeah, confirmation, and then boom, you're now in a trade. This major, major resistance line now becomes support, and then you're going to shoot for at least B, and then you're going to shoot for at least the next one there. A higher one but if that does fail then what ends up happening is we get a wxy pattern and you guys need to understand this stuff to understand the mechanics of how to do a technical analysis because no offense but just learning trend line analysis is uh, very basic right like oh if it gets if it's higher than this high then it's going to go higher um there's way more to ta than that guys and you don't find a lot of this stuff for for without a kind of without a cost i guess i'm not saying my material is good i'm just saying that if you guys go to places like unemy they they charge thousands dear lord and um yeah so you guys got to make sure that that you brush up on your ta from all the sources that you can right and you have to familiarize yourself with this kind of stuff and just grab grab information and education from whatever this is ed education information from any anywhere so you can practice and refine your skills so right now i'm swing training and because I'm swing trading, I'm waiting for opportunities right now. I'm not really scalping, like, like not really a lot at all. So I'm uh, just chilling, just chilling and waiting and doing a lot of TA to help out the public because that's the goal. That is the goal. So now we have our ABC correction in here, which is so visible, right? It's so visible. You know, I'll just take the highest point of the B here just for reference. Wow, well, whatever, I'll go there. And we'll see what kind of, you know, something like that we'll see what kind of not that we can even gauge it this is on a one hour chart right there's no way it's going to get to 900 so because it broke it out of here already right now what people are waiting for to see is is it going to hold above this moving average the 55 probably is it going to hold above it right because to me this looks like it's only three waves right now because if i take this wave right here and if i counted this as one that's not three it's too low so what I think is this is going to consolidate for actually a bigger breakout soon. A bigger breakout because I think that this here is actually all of wave three that goes up. Perfect. We hit a wave three. And now the most crucial thing is there, there's something called a failure, right? A failure in the wave. Impulse up. Now I was talking about that already. Now the possible scenario is this right here where it makes a failed impulse wave up and I will explain to you guys what people watch for for a failed breakout and then we get another major correction to somewhere over here, okay? A major breakout is when Elliott wave retraces 100%. So for example, if that was wave 1 and this was wave 3, right? And I have to draw the wave 4 and 5 there, okay? But if wave 4, first of all, fell to this criteria where it retraced to the wave one territory by more than a wick, say, a wick at most in a high time frame, right? Then that's bad news already, right? But there are rare times where it can recover. If it falls to between where wave one ends and wave two begins, danger zone. That is major danger zone. And the moment that it falls below this wave two territory, right there, that is called a failure of impulse wave up, okay? That is a failed motive wave impulse up because it has now retraced more than 100% of Elliott wave. Okay, so what people wait for is they wait to see if it levels off, first of all, above this right there, the wave one, and also right here between the 0 0.5 and the 618 Fibonacci region. 
if it bounces there, boom, we have now confirmed a fifth wave. So these criteria must be met. You have to make sure you guys develop some sort of confirmation system, okay? I've got so many confirmation systems, and, and I, as I've been saying for months now for the people that have been following me since last year, right, that I'm a very conservative trader. Scalping is the most dangerous thing you can do, and that's where I get my adrenaline from. But when it comes to actually holding positions for hours or days, I'm a super conservative trader. I don't mind missing out on half of a percent to 2% or whatever, just to make sure that I've got confirmation. So now, if we assume that this can go up like that right now, okay? We assume that that can go up right there, and we assume that X will not fail. If this target right there hit a simple one-to-one -one extension, then we must assume that the next one could hit the Fibonacci level next, which is freaking fantastic gains right there. Now, the next thing that we do is we see wave one's retracement. We see wave one retracement right here at 382. Beautiful retracement right there. Therefore, because this wave was incredibly bullish, we also have to assume right now that the next wave will be much less bearish or will be less bullish and we crept further. So a good buy zone would have clearly been between 618 and 0.5 region. Wicked. We are almost there. I almost see an ABC forming already. Okay, that's a beautiful thing to see. Kind of like an ABC maybe. But I would watch for it to level off super clearly. I would wait for the volume to pick up. Right now it's still dying off. I, I'm gonna wait for it above this zone right here, guys. I'm gonna. I have. To, I'm gonna. I'm interested in fun. I want to trade it. That's why I'm heavily interested in this as well. I want to wait for it to retrace, and it must meet this criteria of mine. It must be above the six one eight Fibonacci level because that is also exactly where the wave one retracement is. If it retraces to here and below, there is a strong, strong chance that because it broke this support area right there, that is a heavy chance, right? That it's gonna fall below to wave two. So if it falls right here, then that is where our X will be denoted for failure with Elliott Wave right here. They also have the chart. It's not stuff I'm just making up, guys. It's okay, and this now has failed because it retraced 100%. Boom, failed. And now what we expect is another ABC correction pattern down here. Okay, so my play for fun, and I'm going to share it with you guys, is this. Like I've been said, I'm going to be buying right here. Okay, I'm going to be buying right there as soon as it gets close to this Fibonacci level between 12 cents and between, or sorry, 10.89 cents and 11.5 cents, right between this number, right there, 10.89 cents and 11.9 cents. I want to see if it retraces here because I will expect another fifth wave up. I will expect another fifth wave up. Just trying to control Z. I will expect this to be a fourth wave right here down, okay? I will expect this to be a fourth wave down right here. And based on Fibonacci extensions, there's no other way for me to assume that it's going to hit anything else but a 618 extension, which is up here. Right? The 618 extension, which is right up there. So I'm going to assume a more bearish view, actually. I'm going to assume, or conservative, 15.2 to 16.2. So what risk do we reward do we have? Assuming it bounces at 618 level there, we've got ourselves a chance to do, at most... We will go conservative. We will go conservative. 40% gain. 40% gain. That's what we have with the risk to reward ratio of, I'm going to set it slightly below wave one here. Okay. Right below the support area. I will, with the risk to reward ratio of 5.78. Beautiful risk to reward ratio. So these are my thoughts and fun. And I played out pretty much every single scenario that we can play out. Right, if we break right here, we're just going to end up, you know, we first test of all this area right there. If we break one, this will be between 8.7 8 cents and 9.7 cents. If that fails, we go back all the way down to these levels right over here. 61 cents to 71 cents. I mean, 6.1 cents to 7.1 cents. And that's it, guys. Quick update on fun. It's been fun, hasn't it? I hope that this has been good for you guys and very fun. If you guys like this video, you guys are welcome to upvote it on Steam it, like, subscribe, and share to the whole nine yards in social media, YouTube, Twitter, etc. And if you guys especially loved it, you are welcome to donate to the Luna Cryptocurrency Piggy Bank. Okay, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.